All right, guys, figured we'd, uh, I want to start doing just a video series here. I'm going to try my best to keep up on it. Um, we're going to call just slot car talk a weekly kind of thing. I'm doing a lot of slot car stuff right now and we're coming into winter time. So I'll probably be doing any more of it. So I thought I would just, um, you know, let you guys know what's going on. This week was a big week. I bought, m traded and sold many cars and then I, uh, have some projects going on I thought I'd share with you I'm gonna like some of the weeks hopefully we'll be doing like a how-to type series grouped into this slot car talk series so but anyway I went over and visited uh, a guy in our club named Mike Lombardi today um, he has quite the collection of cars he's trying to get rid of some just scale down a little bit um, he's got a plastic track in his garage so I went over and hung out for a little while and I scooped up some cars, so I thought I would uh, I'd share them with you guys um, before I start working on them. I have no idea what's been done to them. I just got home five minutes ago, so let's check it out. The first one I knew I was going to get, he sent me some pics. The first one I knew I was going to buy, I actually promised to a friend of mine. That's uh, the 10th anniversary, uh, ooh, that's bright, 10th anniversary slotted R8C. So 2002-2012, pretty cool car overall, um, chrome finish, um, really nice presentation box. This car, I believe, has never been ran, um, ended up being a pretty killer deal, um, it's, you know, limited to 3,000 units, so kind of something special there. Again, that one's uh, not destined for my collection. I promised uh, myself and my wife I'd never buy anything I won't race, so um, it's too good for me. So because of that, I wanted an R8C for myself, so I just got myself a regular uh, ready-to-go R8C. Uh, never been ran. It's a good deal in the box. Good to go. Uh, I also been wanting to mess around with one of the guys in my club was screwing around with a Daytona prototype the other day from Sideways. I've heard they're quick, and I've never got to mess with one, so I, I got a pretty cool liveried uh, sideways Daytona. Man, the glare is just terrible on these things, but uh, I'll try to get that sorted out for the next video. Sorry about that. So, yep, got one of those. Let's see what else I got. Oh, I got a... Uh, these are really cool. Um, I've been looking at them on eBay. They're always more than I want to spend. It's an Evo 3 Porsche GT1 uh, from Fly. So this is kind of their, um, this is supposed to be their performance car, if you can believe that, from Fly. So um, supposedly these are pretty cool. Um, it has like a potted, potted chassis, uh, aluminum wheels, some kind of special fast motor. Um, feels heavy. Uh, we'll see if it's any good. Um, I'm sure it's going to take some tuning before I find out whether or not it is. Um, I got one of those. I got a uh, Spirit, um, this is a Spirit Rain Raynard um, Daytona, or a, you know, prototype car. This one's had some work done to it. It's got, I noticed it has NSR wheels on it. Um, this is one of the Spirit Sport line cars, so it's got a Lexan interior. Um, it's supposed to have some other cool stuff, um, I'm told. Oh, the, this is why you don't store cars in cases, guys. Uh, it was tightened down too much tires are severely flat spotted we'll see if i can even fix those um but it's a potted chassis on a spirit car um so there'll be some adjustable ability to that and then it's got their bad boy uh what do they call it a, a s3x motor so this is supposed to be a decent car um we'll see about that again the second one I got that's pretty cool that you don't see a lot of is a Ninco Lightning Series Acura prototype. Again, this is like a special version of the normal Ninco car that has aluminum wheels, the bad boy motor, um, and some more adjustability and tuning stuff than the regular Ninco cars have. So these are supposed to be pretty cool as well. It's got, you know, a pretty flexible chassis. I think. I think we're going to try to make this thing turn pretty good and, and see if we can put a fight to some of the slotted LMP cars in my club. Um, so, that's what I picked up from uh, from Mike. It's a pretty uh, sweet set of cars. I'm just going to set this aside. 
uh, I was happy to, uh, you know, pick from his collection. Um, I think they turned out pretty, pretty cool. Some of these will be pretty sweet. Um, you know, again, not all of them will probably stay in my collection. The, the R8C will be gone before we know it. So I do have a, a couple other things going on. One is we're starting our points competition this week or next week in um, my club. And we're racing some some classes I thought would be cool um, to just share with you guys. So um, we race a class called uh, Vintage Le Mans. Uh, it's primarily a lot of guys run fly cars. Um, however, I, I, I have a car prep for this class that's just turned out to be a, a blast and a rocket ship and looks great. And that is, again, a Spirit car. This is a Spirit 512. Um, I went ahead and, you know, I, I had to do some tuning. Obviously, all of the cars in this class, you're going to have to do quite a bit of tuning to make them work the way you want. Um, we run black stripe motors. You can do gears. You can do a solid front axle conversion. This car did have um, split fronts nice thing about the spirit cars here is um, the front uh, split axle bores are the perfect diameter for a 332 axle so you can just slide that right in um, i have some slotted wheels on the front um, with uh, these are cb design inserts look really similar to the factory wheels cb 15 by 12 and an nsr super grip on the back all trued up nice and round um, slotting plus guide the guides in these cars are, are horrendous even worse than fly if you could believe it um, so that's what i'm running um, for our first points race for a championship um, it's been really fast i think it's going to do well um, and then a project that will be coming at you here pretty soon in fact i'm going to start filming it today but won't be out probably until after is a um, good guy in my club a lot of you guys probably know who he is monty houston um, we're doing Monty Houston, Monty Sagar, excuse me, Monty Houston races RC cars. Um, he, we're going to be prepping some slotted group C cars for him. So I have a, uh, a slotted group C car from him. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Oh, here we go. Uh, so we'll be prepping this car in a video series coming up. He wants to prep three of them all you know he told me uh make them as fast as we possibly can within the rules that we run them in our club so that's what we're going to be doing um i'll tell you guys what the rules are we're going to go through the whole build it's gonna be pretty cool um so these are great cars he's going to do three of them because we do some irock racing and stuff that'll give him the opportunity to have three of these that run pretty close and hopefully are fast and really fun to drive so we got that coming up Another project that we're going to be doing is a uh, Scalectric Trans Am coming up. Uh, I decided I have a Pioneer Trans Am car which has ran really well in my club, and uh, I wanted to try a new challenge. Um, so I picked this up from Mr. Bill Bostick, another guy in my club. It's a pretty cool, uh, you know, Chaparral number three Camaro. Uh, I had the number one car also. Uh, that one didn't stay in my collection. So this one is going to, uh, I think this is actually a number one car also, but it's re-stickered. So anyway, this car is going to get built um, to see if we can put the fight to the rest of the Trans Am cars in my group. No one's running a 70 Camaro in my group right now, so it'll be kind of interesting to see how well this thing will go. Uh, Anyway, guys, it's uh, that's my first episode of Slot Car Talk. Um, I wanted to kind of show you my guys' score, my score from today. Uh, thanks to Mike out there for for helping me out with with some cool cars for good prices, and uh, we're gonna try to make them go fast. Talk to you guys again here pretty quick.